we've come to the portion of our podcast where, again, we left some time here at the end to discuss uh, our Lemurian topic of the week. And we, we actually talked about it. Was it last week or the week before? I think it was last week. Yes. So this, this gentleman who's been hopping into our comment section, both on the website and our YouTube pages, and basically um, ha- claimed to have met Lemurians, right? So I didn't really put much into his comments. And I, you know, I thought it was kind of funny, the stuff he was saying. But uh, I finally clicked on his link to his blog. And it was it was uh, a lot more than I expected. So I couldn't help myself. I went on to our website and I wrote a long. Uh, you you know, did a deep dive. I did a deep dive on him and his claims. So basically, his name is Lowell Johnson, and he claims to be. He said, "quote unquote," I am a regular guy who visited Mount Shasta in July, August this past summer, so 2020. I was skeptical as anyone until I was invited inside to see Telos for myself. Telos is the city, the Lemurian city inside Mount Shasta. Do what you wish with my information, uh, but I saw for myself that it exists and soon they will make themselves known to the rest of the surface humans. So basically, he has this diatribe on this website. It's called uh, 40kftview.com, 40-foot... 40,000footview.com. And he basically goes into this huge thing about that he went on a tour of the city of Telos with Lemurians. And they, you know, there's all these different tiers and there's there's these crystal walls. And at the end, he goes before this like uh, council and they ask him to help them, uh, you know, bring Lemurians and humans together. Uh, there's a lot to unpack here. What was your initial thought? Uh, okay. Well, his story goes that he was hiking up Mount Shasta to explore the whole Lemurian community. And he sat down to take a break and his phone died and, or just mysteriously shut off. And then this gentleman named Alex appeared out of this hole in the side of the mountain and just said, Hey, come with me and learn about Lemurians. Basically. Um, Super far-fetched. Now, I do like some of the details that he gives, like with regards to what the interior of Mount Shasta looks like. Uh, There being a white pyramid, several levels. What really threw me off was the fact that there was like, he says that there was like areas of like nature. And it's like, how do you have like plants inside a mountain? So, okay. So I know you didn't read his whole thing. No, I did not. by golly, I I will not. I did. Because I am the foremost Lemurian expert on this podcast. And he was basically, he said, uh, like, so there's levels, right? In each level, there's an industry level. And there's a a level where where all the Lemurians live. And there's a level for, like, quote, unquote, nature. And everything's hydroponic, he said. Yeah, but they still need light. Light. So he also talks about, this is good because you're asking me questions about this. And he actually covers every little detail and that's why this is really fascinating he said you go in there and there's no you can't see the sky or anything but there is natural light throughout the entire city how i don't know well then you can't just say that you'd think if they're sitting in the middle of a mountain they'd figure out how to get natural light through right over i mean this is a ancient civilization so so you're basing the fact that they could get light based on the fact that they'd developed an entire civilization inside of a mountain. Okay, I, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. At some point, they, they figured out how to bring natural light throughout the, the city. Um, What's with the White Pyramid? I don't know. He didn't really go into that. He just said it. It's There's like a, big a white temple pyramid. kind of a thing. Yeah, it's like a it, spiritual... Right in, the middle, right. right in the middle of Telos. Um, what really... I what, visualize this like Fraggle Rock. You know? <laughs> <laughs> took me a second to, to visualize. Rock, no, 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 the, you're the totally right. Muppet type show from our childhood. What I really, I really loved about this, and it, and let me be clear, I love this blog, and it was way too bloated. It was so long that I can't. It, I mean, it took me an hour to read it. Um, is he goes deep into detail on all this stuff, and 
you know, I, I've talked on this podcast and I've told you about that they made this movie about Lemurians. It's available on Amazon Prime. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's terrible. It is god awful. But if you were to make a Lemurian movie based on what this guy's describing, like that sounds magical. This is almost like Willy Wonka right here. Like, you, you, you know, you step into this this new world beyond Lemuria. No, 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 there's a different one. Well, that one's on Amazon. So that one you're looking at is, um, there's Shando and the Island of Lemuria. There, that one you're looking the lost at lost land of Lemuria. No, so these are all documentaries. They were, there was a dramatic one. Oh, of, that sounds awful. It was the worst film I've ever seen in my entire life. Worse than Jack the bear. It's, it said, I looked it up. It's on, <laughs> it's on IMDb. It's uh budget was less than a thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, it, it actually really is. And I don't want to, you know, any filmmaker, go make whatever film you want. I just thought it was bad. But anyway, uh, he goes into this explanation of Lemuria. He talks about how Alex, quote unquote, Alex the Lemurian knew the um, owner of one of the crystal shops in town. And he said, oh, you know this person? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. It was Kind of weird. And how some of the art was very similar to the art in right. Mount Shasta. The, and the that... owner of the crystal shop had seen the art in Lemuria and then mimicked it uh, for the crystal shop in Mount Shasta. That seems a little weird to me. Um, just that seems weird. No, 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 I feel no, no, like no, no. we're just talking about a weird story. And let me, I don't want to make fun of this guy because I actually... Whatever the story is, you know, I think it's kind of cool to think of this this ancient city of these, you know, beings inside Mount Shasta. I just think it's a fun story. And, sure. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. He gets into this thing where he, at the very end of it, after he goes into detail about the whole city and his experience and Alex, he this is where he loses me because he, ta- he starts talking about himself. And he claims to be this fifth dimensional awareness human. And that's why they chose him to um, represent the Lemurians as the Lemurians emerge from Mount Shasta and uh, reunite with humankind. Which is supposed to happen later this year. Yes, it's supposed to happen soon. It's, it, 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 We're it's, always right around the corner from these, uh, you know, planetary events, according right. to all the experts. Also, he says uh, he, you know, in his mind, he was there for four or five hours and he came out and his time on his watch had only it was a little under an hour. So that's interesting. Time moves slower in, in, in Telos. Um, is it slow? Yes, slower. And uh, anyway. No, time moves faster. Does time move faster? Yeah, time, time is different in, in, inside Mount Shasta, apparently. Um, Super believable story, if you ask me. Well, it's I, again, I don't want to make fun of this guy, but it's it, 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 elaborate. It's very elaborate. Very. Uh, what what got me is this is exactly how these beliefs happened in the first place. Is one guy, J.C. Brown, went on the mountain, claimed all this detailed stuff, wrote like twelve books about it, and now there's all these beliefs behind it. Is this guy trying to take that, you know, playbook and create his own story and be the new, um, the new Lemurian guy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, By the way, J.C. Brown made a bunch of money off his books. Right. So it's this guy. um, It's makes sense that he would try to if he's really into this stuff, he would try to make up a, a big creative, elaborate story and and sell it. I well, don't... if you're going to generate a, a marketing spark, this is a good way of doing it. Well, he and, got my attention. I mean, if he's got a book ready to publish, I mean, what better way than to to release this diatribe? By the way, a lot of people read this article on our website a lot. Like <laughs> I was shocked and I, I shouldn't be shocked anymore because people love Lemurian content on our website day in and day out. And, you know, it, the comment section was pretty funny. Like, you know, oh, that's what happens when you, you take mescaline on Mount Shasta. Or I actually had customers at the winery yesterday from Mount Shasta, and the conversation of Lemurians did come up. And I didn't even tell you that, but uh, we talked about the whole just 
the the spiritual essence that is the Mount Shasta area. I yeah, guess, was really the tone of our conversation. Did you tell him that your brother is the foremost? I did actually. Influencer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. By the way, and this this is on the article on our website. He he takes a picture of the mountain and circles where the portal to Telos is. Well, I mean, he's got a phone. He should just go film it. But but phones don't work. Well, it, they shut off mysteriously before uh, the open. It, it shut open. off. Right. And by the way, his entire tour was on this levitation device that it, it was uh, honestly I, like a hoverboard. It would no, it was like a big platform. I get what you're saying. You're you're making a joke, and I'm like being serious. About right? It no, I mean you're defending him, and I'm kind of leaning in the more joking. This direction. captured my uh, imagination, unlike any Lemurian story has. Well, I mean, we stopped recording last week, and that's when you brought it up, and it's like, all right, well, this is clearly going to be a topic on next week's episode, being this one we're on right now. I do think I wrote this article after after you left, after we filmed our podcast, uh, I clicked on the article and I just dove deep. I spent way too much time in it uh, because, for one, I wanted to do this. I don't everything he says in his blog, I say verbatim and I don't say this is wrong or this is crazy or whatever. I'm just like, this is what this guy's You're a fact claiming. collector. Right. Make your own decision about it. But, um, you know. It's pretty wild, and I, deep down, you know, I, I hope this guy is the um, is the prophet of the Lemurians, you know, to fifth, bring them bring, fifth uh, dimension, yeah, to bring them thinking. into humankind again. Um, but anyway, that's I well, you know what? Honestly, if they're so forward with regards to like technology, then they can probably listen to this. Yo, Lemurians, uh, Alex specifically, give us a shout out. If you got Zoom, we'd love to have you on the pod. You think Lemurians listen to podcasts? Well, if they are able to get sunlight through a mountain, they sure as hell can download the Talking NorCal podcast. They're also they're also telepathic. So they, yeah, I mean, I guarantee if Lemurians exist. They just sent me a message telepathically. They said <laughs> yeah. that they love the pod. They are, Lemurians, if they do exist, they are aware of me. I'm just going to say yeah, that. They, right I now. think they love the pod. They're probably some of our, our most loyal subscribers. Yes. Uh, I I want this to be a, a larger 400-page science fiction book. I just want to say that. I would read that in a heartbeat. I'm sure there's books like this. They're all older, like... Lowell Johnson, create a large book that I can dive deep into and I will read I'd rather it. I will share it on the way. I don't know if I want one. <laughs> Lowell, uh, if you uh if you know us, reach out to us. If you're listening to this, we'd like to talk to you. Maybe someday, uh Lowell, you know, we'll get him on. I again I'm not making fun of him. You know, if he claims this and he believes this, man, good for you. But uh, it's a wild story and it's something I just wanted to dive deeper on in the podcast. Cause we've talked about, uh, we talk about this Lemurian stuff.